What's going on guys, it is the Lethal Cookie here and today the best team in, P in FIFA part 2 or episode 2 now this is the team that I've created yesterday and I've played 5 games with it so far 1 4 lost 1 and the team I did lose did have like some crazy ass team like they're like team of the seasons and that but anyway you might be wondering, ooh, silver players, not feeling that. Oh well, look, 92 pace and 78 physical. Right, even though his defense isn't that good, yeah. This man here, Katuku Tishimanga. He fits in with chemistry, and also he's quick, so he can catch up to anyone. He can catch up to pretty much anyone anyway. And he just he literally gets tackles in, even though his defence ain't that good. He just gets work done, and he does quite often cover whenever any player has to go towards. So that's what I find good about him is that, and also he can catch up to all the pacey players that Chiellini and company can't catch up to. Then we've got Abati, pretty much does the same thing. Although look at these stats for a silver player, absolutely disgusting. He's got a high attack and work rate, which is not my favourite. Like last game, I did concede a goal because he was out of position, but it's not too bad, not too much. By the way, I haven't done any um, instructions for this team yet. But yeah, these two CDMs, nine golem in there for chemistry reasons, and also his pace, physical, and also his uh, defence because you need good defence in a CDM. I actually packed this one. Uh, yeah, don't know what I've done. There you go. 12 games, 2 goals, 3 assists. Not too bad for a CDM, I don't think. Um, should we look at these? Play 5, see, we'll play 5. So none of my defenders have actually scored yet. Courtois, he's a top class keeper, I actually really like him. I was a bit skeptical to buy him, but then I bought him and he's actually alright, so that's good. Without. So, Five played, four goals, one assist for a CDM. That's not too bad. I mean, Vidal is literally the guy who always seems to be there when the, when someone needs to score. Um, I think he scored more goals than my strikers. I think he just put in work. He, he just because of his high high work rate. He literally at the end if a corner, he's there. Um, free kick, I usually take that with Pogba, but. Penalties to take with him, I think I scored one or two penalties. So that's probably why his goals are so high. But he has scored a banger for me from about 30 yards outside the foot, so that was good. And then you got Pogba. He's not scored as many, but he's got two assists, two uh goals, five games, so still not not too bad. The reason why I have Pogba is because he can win headers and he's got really good passing, so he can pass to the three attackers. Yeah, same with him. He's got really good pass and really good physical, so that's why I have him as well. Ibarbo has surprised me because he's actually been the worst player, like the one who hasn't performed for me. He's a, he's only scored one goal in his five games, and when I had him before, he was scoring loads, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But yeah, good for header and good for pace, good for dribbling, got good physical and good shot, although his shots do keep getting saved, so he's a bit of a letdown at the minute. Javinho surprised me though, even though he hasn't scored a lot, he's actually made the runs and um, created the chance. Like his, He always runs and just like gets in spaces that need so they can set up or, um, set up the Dumbia, because Dumbia is the person who is my main man. But yeah, his pace and dribbling, just you can't touch him really down that left side. All this left side is pretty much untouchable, says so this one, but Barbo, as I said, is the weak link. Then we get Dumbia, five games, five goals, one assist. The pace and the shot, look at la. It's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. But yeah, he, he he's really good for like get and also his high work rate. But he's really good for out look four star weak foot, so he's really good for weak foot. Really good at headroom, not so good at passing, but you don't really need that in a striker. And also if you look at these two, look, 72 passing. Not so much of Ibarra, but yeah, 72 passing. That's uh, why I like him. I'm just gonna 
cut to transfer market quick. Okay, so this is what I was saving up for. Salah's in form because Syria obviously, and that pace is just whoa. pace, good passing, brilliant dribbling, brilliant shot, and that's why I'm gonna save up for him. I've only got 15k, but after I uh, finish this division, I should be able to nearly be able to buy him because I'll get about 8k for that. But this one very cheap, very cheap. Uh, it's man the match card. However, I do want his inform because just because of that extra few stats on him. 21k, see I'm not going to need quite a lot for that, so, yeah. Anyway guys, this has been the second episode to the best team on FIFA. Please, please, please try this out, I assure you, this is so good in Division 1. You see I'm in Division 1 at the minute. There we go. So we've got a couple of games remaining. Um, if I win them, then I do win the title, but I doubt I will. But anyway, I've been the Leaf Cookie. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.